How to use your liquid oxygen system. Welcome. This video will take you through step by step how to use your liquid oxygen system, also known as LOX, and review safety tips about maintaining your equipment. Your Dolby Vivisol home care technician would have explained the precautions to be observed when storing, handling, and using your equipment, and we will go through these again throughout this video. The Liquid Oxygen System You have been supplied with a liquid oxygen system for mobility purposes. The system will enable you to go out and about more often and for longer periods of time. It comprises of a base unit called a dewer containing liquid oxygen, a portable unit called a flask which is filled from the dewer. Liquid oxygen is a gas that has been compressed and cooled until it turns into a liquid. In liquid form we can store and carry a much greater volume of gas than can be put into a traditional cylinder. One litre of oxygen can be converted into 860 litres of gas. This means the oxygen will last longer and can be useful for providing higher oxygen flow rates. How your liquid oxygen system works Our Dolby Vivisol home care technician would have explained how the system works and would have demonstrated it for you. The dewer contains oxygen in liquid form. Therefore, there are several features that may be new to you. The liquid oxygen system does not require mains power to operate. However, there are specific recommendations as to where the dewer should be stored. Our Dolby Vivisol home care technician would have discussed this with you and agreed a suitable and safe location for your equipment. Flask filling. We will now take you through how to fill your liquid oxygen flask. We will be using the Helios 850, but you may have been given a similar flask such as the Helios Plus 300, the High Flow Stroller, or a flask specifically for pediatric patients called the Pediatric Sprint, which provides a low flow of oxygen. Our guidance is the same for all of these flasks, however, we will confirm any differing safety points and instructions where they occur throughout this video. If your dewer has a protective cap on the fill connector, remove this first. However, please note that not all dewers will come with a cap fitted. Using a clean, lint-free cloth, dry the fill port along with the fill connector on the flask. Ensure there is no moisture or dust on either port, as this will hamper the filling process. Check the dewer contents indicator to make sure enough liquid oxygen is available for your usage. Make sure that the flow rate setting on the dewer and flask are set to zero. Firmly lower the flask onto the dewer so the flask connector clicks into place with the dewer connector. Hold the flask firmly in place with one hand, keeping it upright. Move the filling lever 90 degrees to the open position with the other hand. Maintain a downward force while the flask is filling. Release the filling lever a few times during the first 20 to 30 seconds of the filling process. This will prevent the valve from freezing open. Please note, the filling lever may be different depending on your flask. Some are spring-loaded and will require you to apply pressure while filling the flask. Close the filling lever when you hear a spluttering noise, followed by a release of white vapour. The flask filling time for Helios 850 and Helios Plus 300 may take between 4 to 6 minutes from start to finish. If you have a high flow stroller flask or pediatric sprint, the fill time is between 1 to 2 minutes. To remove the flask once full, continue to hold the flask with one hand and use your other hand to press the release button on the dewer. Once the release button is pressed down, gently lift the flask off the dewer. If the flask does not disconnect, Leave it for a short while and then try again. Never twist or force the flask. It is common to hear a hissing sound after the flask has been filled. This is the relief valve venting excess pressure. Upon disengaging the flask from the dewer, it is common to see condensation on or near the fill connector. Should a minor leak occur from the dewer when the flask is disconnected, proceed to reconnect and then disconnect the flask. This will help dislodge any ice or other obstruction. If a leak is still present, ventilate the area where safe to do so and call us immediately. Should a major leak occur, i.e. a continuous stream of liquid oxygen vapour is present, 
When the flask is disconnected, stay away from the dewer. Do not attempt to re-engage the flask, ventilate the area where safe to do so, and call us immediately. It is very important to wait for the fill connector on the dewer to fully defrost, and then carefully replace the cap to protect from any possibility of cold burns and to keep the parts clean. Once full, the flask must be left for at least 30 minutes before use. This is to ensure that you gain maximum duration from the flask. The dewer and flask both contain liquid oxygen at very low temperatures. It is extremely important that you do not touch any cold parts, especially the filling ports, on either units, or allow liquid oxygen to come into contact with your skin, as this could cause a serious cold burn. How to check your flask is full. We will now show you how to check that your flask is full, depending on which flask you have been given. If you have been given the Helios 850 or Helios Plus 300, hold the strap on the back of the flask and push the bottom of the flask until it is vertical. The green indicator should fill the window if the flask is full. Take care not to touch the blue fill port on the bottom of the flask. If you have the high flow stroller or paediatric sprint, once you have removed the flask from the dewer, press the green button on the top. The flask is full when all lights are illuminated. You can now use your flask. It is important to note that the flask should always be in the upright position. However, the Helios 850 and Helios Plus 300 can be used if the top is higher than the bottom, for example on a slant, or when it is laid flat. This may be the easiest way when travelling, as it would avoid the flask rolling around or falling over. How to attach your nasal cannula For the Helios Plus 300 and Helios 850, use a dual lumen nasal cannula with your flask. The nasal cannula has two connections. One is used to sense when you inhale, and the other connection is used to supply oxygen into your nose. Attach both ends of the dual lumen cannula to the flask. Either end of the dual lumen cannula may be attached to either connector. It is normal to see condensation and visible vapour as the flasks are used at higher flow rates, and especially when on continuous flow. If you are using the high flow stroller flask, this has a single lumen port for the cannula. You can now set your flask to the flow rate you have been prescribed by your healthcare professional. How to wear your nasal cannula Place your cannula onto your face as directed by your healthcare professional. You are now set up. Here are a few things to remember about using your liquid oxygen system. Do use and store your liquid oxygen dewer and flask upright and in the location agreed with the Dolby Vivisol home care technician. Do leave the flask to settle for at least 30 minutes before using. Do keep the flow control valve closed when the oxygen unit is not in use. Do not fill your flask the night before. Flasks should always be filled on the day of use. Do not attempt to move your liquid oxygen dewer without seeking advice from Dolby Vivisol. Do not smoke or allow others to smoke anywhere near liquid oxygen, while it is in use or while filling your flask. This includes the use of e-cigarettes. It is important to remember that the dewer and flask both contain liquid oxygen at very low temperatures. To avoid serious cold burns, never touch any cold parts, especially the filling ports, on either units or allow liquid oxygen to come into contact with your skin. Remember. The contents of your flask will evaporate when left, even if the control valve is set to zero. Troubleshooting If you are having trouble disconnecting the flask from the dewer, it may be that there is ice on the fill ports. Please ensure that the filling lever is closed and allow the ice to melt away naturally. Once it has melted, press firmly downwards against the dewer release button to disconnect. If you still have trouble, there could be ice in the fill valve or there may be a damaged connector. Please stay away from the unit, open windows and doors, and contact us immediately. Do not touch it as it could cause a cold burn.
If you have filled your flask but there doesn't seem to be any flow of oxygen, here are some possible causes and their solutions. Probable cause. The flow control is set to off. Zero. Solution. Set the flow to the correct setting as prescribed by your healthcare professional. Probable cause. The flask is empty. Solution. Check the contents gauge on the flask. Probable cause. The cannula tubing is kinked. Solution. Check the length of the cannula and tubing and unkink any problematic areas. Probable cause. There is a blockage in the supply tubing. Solution. Check that the supply tubing is not trapped or blocked. If the flask has two outlets for the cannula, swap the outlets. You can also try to clear the blockage by swinging the cannula around to release any built up pressure. If the problem is not resolved by trying this, please try using another cannula. Probable cause. The flask hasn't been allowed to settle for 30 minutes. Solution. Please allow the flask to settle for 30 minutes after every refill. Probable cause. There is a leak. Solution. Should a minor leak occur from the dewer when the flask is disconnected, proceed to reconnect and then disconnect the flask. This will help dislodge any ice or other obstruction. If a leak is still present, ventilate the area where safe to do so and call us immediately. Should a major leakage occur when the flask is disconnected, stay away from the dewer, ventilate the area where safe to do so and call us immediately. A major leak would have a continuous stream of liquid oxygen vapour present. We hope you now have a better understanding of your liquid oxygen system. Should you have any difficulties, please contact us. We are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For patients in Scotland, please call 0800 833 531. For patients in England, please call 0800 917 9840.